Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. So, in our last video, we created our battery boost script. And in this lesson, we're going to create the other script. So, as I'm sure you've guessed, we're just going to copy and paste this script and then we'll just switch out some of the variables. So let's begin by creating another C sharp script and we'll call this increase health. And let's open this up for editing. And we'll also open our previous script, the increase battery. And we'll just copy all of the script. and we'll paste it in here. So let's come up to the top and we'll create our normal block of code. We'll add our name and the date, which is the 29th I'm recording this video. I'm having to record videos in advance, probably for the next few weeks at least. But, um, Let's go through and change what needs to be changed. So add battery boost to inventory. We'll just change that to health boost. And as before, we'll go through and change the comments. And we'll change the next variable to underscore health boost activated. And we'll change the comment here as well. So let's copy the activated variable. We'll paste that in there. And we'll just go through and change the comments where applicable. So we'll paste that variable new naming convention into everywhere it's used. And finally, add health boost to inventory let's just copy and paste that in here and we'll also do it in the comments and everything else can re remain the same we still need to get the inventory script we still need to destroy the game object so that script is now done so we'll just save this off and we'll go through and create all the scripts we need to create and we'll be doing it in the exact same way so we'll call this next one increase hunger and again I know this may not be very exciting but um, it has to be done we need a script for every single one so let's just get them all done in one video and I'm hoping in the next lesson in this series we can actually start creating all the pickup game objects and we'll actually begin to test out our inventory system. So again I've just created increase hunger and just copied everything from the previous script in and we'll just go through again so we're going to change this to add hunger boost to inventory and hunger boost pickup activated again i'm trying to go through and make sure i change all the comments as we go and i probably will check off camera just to make sure that i haven't missed any but um let's go through this script now and we'll change the comment here and finally this variable just once here and we can also copy and paste straight into the comment so let's save that one off and again another C sharp script increase hydration 
We've opened it up. Let's just copy everything in again. And I'll keep remembering to try and add the little block of code we have at the top. And um, we'll go through and change the variables again. So obviously once we get the next lesson out of the way and we can actually test out our inventory system and actually get the pickup game objects in place and created we will then work on other actual functions like i said we have a lot of things planned for this series so we have things like vehicles boss battles other pickups and um, quite a number of other things that um that will be added and I'm sure many of you are ready to work on a different feature now we've spent a lot of time actually with the inventory and I'm just a minute going to create the last script for the stamina so yes there's about a dozen features that I have planned at the moment but as I always say if um, if there is anything that um, any of you wish me to include in this series please leave a comment below or message me and there is a chance that I may already have that feature planned out to which point I'll tell you and say it will be coming shortly or it may be a case of needing to go and create that ready for future lessons. But I'm always happy to do that if any of you have any requests for features. So uh, please let me know um, because it is um, very... Um, it's very encouraging for myself because it um, tells me that people are, are engaged with the series and are enjoying it. So I'm always happy to add features that people want. Now it may take me a long time to get around to including them features because more basic functional features have to be created first. But... I will always try and get round to them eventually at some point. So, with that said, we've created all the scripts now for the boost. As I said, in the next lesson, we'll actually get around to testing our inventory system. And in the meantime, if there is any features you wish me to add, as I said, please leave a comment below and I will be happy to try and accommodate. But I think we're going to leave it here for this video. So a very simple short video this time and we'll start new with a new video when we actually come around to creating the game objects and testing. So with that said, we'll leave it here for now. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time, and until then, as always, bye for now.